first thing about French press is you need a clean French press. And to have a French press clean, you got to clean it. Well, I've already cleaned mine, but I'm going to show you what I did to get this clean. First thing I did was I ran this out of the water. I took this off. I spun it. It comes right off. There are two filters in here. I don't know if you can see them or not. There are two filters. And these two filters are wedged between two metal pieces. And this all goes down and presses down in, inside of the uh, French press. Now when you're through cleaning it, it screws right back on like this. Okay. And the other thing I do is Usually when I get to this point, there's still coffee grounds in here, and I take the coffee grounds, I take them out of here, and I put them in this bowl for my wife, and I can, she can use it as uh, mulch or anything like that in the garden. It works out real, it's great for the garden. So I always give her these coffee grounds. She wants them. Okay. So then, after I clean this all, sometimes I wash it. Sometimes I have fresh water in here. After I've done it all, I pump it through a few times to get this really nice and clean. Depends on how clean you want your French press. You can go to many levels to make it really, really clean. So anyway, um, that's how you keep a nice French press clean. Okay, so now um, let's go make a cup of coffee. First, I'll show you all the pieces of equipment I have. The first one I have that I think is really, really important uh, over here is my water source and my water source is a zero water uh, water container here that goes through the filter and gives me beautiful wonderful water i would suggest something like this you want to start with good water you can you can have the best doggone cup of coffee you can make you can screw it all up by lousy water so let's look at some of the other things i have over here uh you saw the uh the coffee grounds that i give to my wife yeah and over here I have a little scale. I have a measuring cup, which I mostly use just to put water, to heat water. <laughs> and then I have a little cup here where I put all the grinds when I grind it. And here is my grinder, which is a Krups grinder. And I've got it set for very coarse because we're using a French press. You don't want to use fine grained, finely ground uh, coffee beans. And the other thing that a coffee bean a fella told me the other day he said, you want to grind your own beans, like this is what I'm doing right there. And if I had that coffee, all, the coffee, all those coffee beans ground, uh, then it wouldn't take very long for the ground coffee to go sort of sour on you and be lousy. So you want to grind your own beans. If you're looking for a really good cup of coffee, you want to grind your own beans. Here's the little container I use. This catches all the grounds. There's my French press, and I have another little jewel over here that I really, really like. This is my water heater, and this is really nice. If you look, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it has um, decaf. I think it says decaf, 160 degrees. Green tea up here, we drink green tea in this house too, is 175 degrees, and it'll automatically, when you press that button and put start to stop, or you want to keep it warm, you can do that too. Uh, it'll keep it at 175 degrees and you'll be all set. Then there's some other settings. I'll just go down here. The one we're concentrating on, which is 200 degrees. That's a French press. So French pressed coffee should be introduced um, at 200 degrees with your water you're using. So what I'm going to do is go over here and take my measuring cup, but I'm not going to measure anything. I'm going to take my measuring cup and get some water. Bring the water over here. Put that in. I'm gonna need a little more. So let's get a little more. This should be enough water, in case we want tea later on too. We'll have that. That's all ready to go. So now, the next thing I have to do is grind some coffee. So here's my little grinding 
container that catches all the ground coffee that comes out of this nice grinder. We've got it on coarse. You don't want it on fine or medium. You want it on coarse for French press coffee. So we're going to do that. Put this guy in here. And I have, this is the most uns unscientific thing I do uh, this whole video. I could weigh it out and get it just, you know, just the way I want it. But you know what I do? I just count to nine. If I count to nine, it comes out right every time for me. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start this grinder and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shut it off. So, then I take my little cup, take my grinds, put them right in here, and look at those beauties. Is that done? Per that's just what you want to see. Just, just like this. That's perfect. Perfect grinds for a great cup of coffee. And so now we have to go over here and heat some of our water. So let's, this is pretty cool. When I push this on, you want to come over and get a nice shot of this, honey. Um, we put it on 200, well, it's, it says um, right here in the French press, 200 degrees. And I start and stop and I keep it uh, so that it stays, what do they call it? Keep, keep warm, it keeps it warm. Notice it's got a blue color down here. And when the coffee, when the coffee, yeah, when the water's ready, and the water's at 200 degrees, the light will go off. So let's go back over here. And the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a paper towel down here, the top. and I'm going over here, and I'm gonna get some really, really hot water. And I'm gonna leave it in this container so that when you put the coffee in here, it's not introduced to a cold container. Sometimes. Some people figure it's not good for the coffee to introduce it to something really cold. So I want to get something pretty warm and let the hot water sit here and warm up this container. Because it's pretty cool right now. Plus it's cool outside. It's only in the 40s down here in Florida today. So it's kind of chilly. All right. So we have the water brewing. All right. The water is brewing. So that's going good. So now let's go over here. And we got our water in our pot. That's getting nice and warm. And we've got our coffee all ready to go. Now, I'm going to use this to measure how much water I'm going to put in it. I want to put 450 milliliters of water in here. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. First thing I'm going to do is pour the water out of here. Oh, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the water right here. And I'll warm the cup. Just like that. Throw the rest of the water out. Now, I'm going to take my coffee grounds and put them in here. See the coffee grounds are in there? All right. I'm going to start my scale. Make sure it's on milliliters. If you look over here, you can see the ML. I'm going to put the French press on here. And it says 655 milliliters. Well, I don't want to start there. I want to start at zero. So if I push this, it zeroes everything out. So now, everything that I put into this French press, it'll give it to me in milliliters. Starting everything, none of this weighs anything now. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing, nothing weighs anything. So anything I put in this French press is going to be measured in milliliters starting at zero. Perfect. So let me go over and get some hot water. I'm only going to fill this about half full, about 200 milliliters. So. There's 200 milliliters. I'm going to put this back over here to let it warm up again. Keep the water warm. And now I'm going to take a spoon, a big spoon, and I'm going to heat this up with the hot water, just so I don't put any chill on any of the coffee in any way. I'm going to try not to, all right? And after about a minute, I'm going to stir 
the coffee grounds because they all float up to the top. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the camera. Patty, if you just come over here and get over in this corner over here and shoot in, I don't know if you can see the coffee. Um, now I'm going to go and I'm going to mix it. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of thick on the top. It kind of collects all on the top. I'm going to I'm gonna mix it around like that, lightly, okay? Now I'm going to add the rest of the water, and I'm going to go up to 450 milliliters. So I've got, I'm already at 221, so I'm going to add the coffee in here up to 450 milliliters. Well, there you go, 450. 450 milliliters. That's about where I like it. I don't have to be right on the milliliter, but it's pretty close. Okay, so I'm done with the scale. I'll shut this off and put it away. Open the back here. And now I'm going to put my press on here. Now I'm going to go over here to the microwave and my timer I'm going to put in five minutes. And at the end of five minutes, I should be ready for a cup of coffee. So let's see what happens uh, in five minutes. Okay, we're getting down to the timer. It's almost done. We're back. 16 seconds. I'm going to shut it off because I know about what 50 seconds are. So uh, let's go over here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nice pre-warmed cup. Put it right here. Get ready for the pouring. We can throw this water out. I'm going to use this cup in a minute. Take my French press. And notice, see the arrow right here? Come in here, Patty. See if you can see this arrow. I don't know. It's oh, too close. Wait. No, I can see. Thank you. You, see you need to be there. Okay. Please. So there's the arrow. i got to get it here at the spout. Otherwise, it doesn't come out very well. All right. Now I'm going to do the French press. And I'm just going to push this down lightly. Don't slam it. Some people say go all the way down. Some people say go all, leave a half an inch. Go all the way down. It's gonna squeeze it fine. Now, here it is, the real test. See if you can get the pour, Patty. Can you get the pour? Beautiful color. A beautiful color. Look at that. I can smell it from here. All right, now I'm gonna go over this way. And I have some extra, I have some extra uh, coffee in here. So what I do is, I put the extra coffee in here. Just take a look at that color. Isn't that a beautiful color for coffee? That's perfect. All right. <laughs> perfect for me anyway, you know, so. Here we are. First cup of coffee already out, ready to go. Delicious. French press coffee. I hope you liked it. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Like really helps. Leave a comment. If you'd like to see something else, we'll do something. Have you got an idea that you'd like to see on video? We'll give it a try. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.